What's going on? I am here with one of my favorite franchisees. I'm a little biased. He's family. My cousin, Ryan McCoy. Ryan? Happy to be here. Tell me, first, you started. We're here serving Ryan as a franchisee here in Nashville. Crisscrossing the country, doing these events, bringing awareness to the Scoop Soldiers brand, establishing the Pet Waste Millionaire brand as a media organization that is meant to inspire entrepreneurship in everybody and talk about the American dream. But Ryan is a testament to the American dream. So Ryan, you started working for me, what year? Uh, 2017. So 2017, you came to work for me and you were managing a restaurant prior to that. Yes. And we're looking for something new. So tell me about your journey from going from the restaurant business to Poop Scoop. Yeah, I've ran the restaurant business for about 10 years and that was, uh, a, was a very fun. Uh, we left there and was blessed to join Scoop Soldiers in 2017. Uh, what did you do for Scoop Soldiers? Oversaw about seven trucks starting out in the DFW area until that expanded to about 70 trucks in 12 major cities in seven states. That's awesome. <laughs> I remember those days. Yeah, so it's quite the transition from the restaurant to the to the scoop, scoop, in, scoop soldiers, but it was a great transition. And so now you're a franchisee. Tell us about how long have you been a franchisee? For about three years, the first of June. Three years, three years, fantastic. And so you took on five territories pretty quick about three years ago, right? No. How much revenue did your five territories in Dallas do last year? Just shy of a million. 999,500. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, if you'd have told me that, I would have I would have personally like figured out how to get that extra 500 to get that 1 million. Yeah, that but close. you did right at 1 million, $500 short of a million dollars last year. Do you know roughly what you're projected to do this year with your expansion? Roughly about 3 million. Roughly 3 million. So January 1st this year, the real way you're going to do that is you took over most of Houston. Folks in Houston and Nashville, Tennessee, where we're at now. So we're here in Nashville serving our franchisees. We're bringing community, we're bringing community awareness. That's the goal here. So we're going to restaurants, breweries. We're in a brewery right now. We're going to dog parks all over the country and all the markets that our franchisees operate their businesses to bring awareness to the Scoop Soldiers brand, but also to document this so that the Pet Waste Millionaire brand can be established online to inspire entrepreneurs, not just in the pet waste industry, but in all business. But, but what I'm mostly passionate about for, as a Pet Waste Millionaire is home services and the, the benefits of home services, both as a business, but also as something that you can provide your community. And so Ryan, you, I am so proud to be in business with you as a partner and as a franchisor, franchisee relationship. I'm proud of you as a cousin. I'm just, I'm very proud and, and it is a super bright spot for me to be in business with family, but uh, but also to see you guys thrive in your own business. You don't work for me, right? Yeah. Like, like so it's a blessing in itself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is. No, no, cause I, tell us about that. So you were managing those 70 trucks for me. You started out working with Josh Cahill, yeah. the real Pat Waste Millionaire. The real Pat Waste Millionaire. Yeah. So, so to speak, you know, he's a little bit of a loud mouth. That's about the only real part of it. But you started out working with him. Tell us a little bit about the differences between Josh's management and leadership style and mine. And be very honest. I want, <laughs> I want you to be very honest. Oh, yeah. Josh is a little bit more lax, to say the, to say, <coughs> put it mildly, uh, where EJ is more structured and Dead operating mind. procedure, <laughs> standard operating procedure. That's what franchising is yeah. all about. So it's good to get a little mix of both and kind of you know, learn, have some fun with it, but also it's good to be self-employed. <laughs> Being self-employed is good. Let's just say I heard a lot more from EJ than I did from Josh. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Fair enough. But full disclosure, got yelled at more. <laughs> you did get yelled at more. But you know, we were making things happening. We, we, we and, and there's a huge difference when you've got seven trucks and only seven technicians than when you have 70 trucks and 70 technicians across all those states. The whole different game. I'm doing it all over again. I started the franchise in the Dallas area with about eight trucks, and now with Houston and Nashville expansion, we're running 30 trucks. Okay, so that's awesome. I'm glad you mentioned that. So you started, ended the year, ended 2023 with eight trucks in Dallas. Now you're now you're 30 plus trucks. Yep. That is awesome. And so you're doing it all over again. Yep, doing it all over again. Well, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad that we're in business together. Right, we really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So like, follow our journey. Be sure to like, follow our journey. Like and follow our journey. And make sure to comment. And if you if you want to, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to, to anybody watching.